My name is Donna Kelly Williams. I have been a registered nurse at the bedside for almost 40 years and currently work as an obstetrical and neonatal nurse at the Cambridge Health Alliance. I am also the president of the Massachusetts Nurses Association, representing over 23,000 registered nurses and healthcare professionals. I am here today to testify in support of House Bill 1958 and Senate Bill 1206, an act relative to patient safety. As you can see here, I have been joined by nurses from every corner of the state, from community hospitals and academic medical centers, and each one of these nurses represents thousands more who could not be here today because they are at the bedside caring for patients. These nurses have come here today because they are concerned about their patients. They are here to support setting a safe limit on the number of patients a nurse can care for at one time. Right now, save for the intensive care units, there is no limit to the number of patients a nurse can care for at one time. This is dangerous and we are putting patients at great risk. Last year, we took a good first step. With the unanimous support of the legislature, we passed a law setting a limit on the number of patients a nurse can care for at one time in our state's intensive care units. This will help to protect the sickest of the sick. But we are back this year because conditions continue to deteriorate in other units. So it's time to take the next step and expand safe patient limits to all units in all hospitals. Each one of these nurses has a story to tell you about how patients are not getting the care they need because nurses are being forced to care for too many patients at one time. Each one of these nurses represents hundreds of stories their fellow nurses could tell. If we had each nurse come before you to tell his or her individual story about the consequences of caring for too many patients at one time, we could be here for weeks. But we are hoping you hear our, our voices collectively today. I would like to take the time now to ask these nurses some questions so that you can hear from them directly about how the lack of safe patient limits in Massachusetts is affecting patient care. How many of you believe that patient care is suffering due to you and your fellow nurses being forced to care for too many patients at one time? <coughs> Thank you. How many of you know of a medical error such as a patient being given the wrong medication resulting from a nurse being forced to care for too many patients at one time. Thank you. How many of you feel that this problem of being assigned too many patients at one time has gotten worse over the past five years? Thank you. Due to your concerns about safety and quality care, how many of you would not admit a loved one to your own hospital? Thank you. Members of the, health, the Public Health Committee, we need you to hear us. We have just told you what we are experiencing. Our patients are suffering. Every day that goes by without a law in place means that preventable medical errors, more avoidable complications, increased length of stays, and readmissions are occurring. In some cases, it is the difference between life and death. And I thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Karen Higgins. I am an ICU nurse and have been um, at Hawkins Medical Center for the last 40 years. I am also co-president of uh, um, National Union, National Nurses United, an organization of over 185 frontline nurses across this country. And you just heard from the experts. These are people on the front line caring for your loved ones. I am now going to take some time to just provide you some additional information supporting their testimony and the legislation we just, that we put forward. First, the testimony you just heard from these nurses is su supported by a survey m &A commissioned earlier this year asking registered nurses across the state, both m &A nurses and non-M&A nurses, about the conditions in their hospitals. We have provided copies of the survey results as part of our written testimony. But you should be alarmed by what you put by the findings, which confirms what you just heard from the nurses here today. More than 80% of our state nurses reported diminished quality of care due to excessive, excessive patient loads. More than 60% reported an increase in medical errors, and one in four nurses reported patient's death due to unsafe staffing in our state's hospital. California passed a similar legislation over a decade, a decade ago, and it has, it has saved lives. And despite what you might hear today, not a single hospital has closed in California as a result of this measure. 
and hospital profits in California have increased since the measure was passed. The body of research um, that supports the need of safe patient limits continues to grow. In just the last year and a half since we testified before about this in March of 2014, um, studies have been published. The American Economic Journal, Applied Economics, featured a study demonstrating the positive impact of proper RN staffing on a hospital unit. In this case, the author reported that patients had shorter hospital stays and better outcomes when cared for, one, cared for on units properly staffed with experienced nurses who work there day in and day out. The National Bureau of Economic Research has issued findings that Massachusetts hospitals rank among the worst nationally for patient readmissions due to poor care. A study in the Journal of Nursing Care Quarterly found that poor staffing conditions and excessive patient assignments for nurses cause nurses to omit or fail to perform necessary nursing tasks and assessments, which resulted in poor patient care and increase in negative patient outcomes. You will also hear today from Judith Sinyal Rothschild, the Professor of Nursing Economics at Boston College School of Nursing, who will present to you back break, groundbreaking research she is working on around poor patient care and negative outcomes due to excess patient assignments, including long waiting waits for care in overcrowded emergency room departments. The studies, join, the studies join dozens of others that have appeared in some of the most prestigious peer-reviewed medical and nursing journals in the United States and across the world. Evidence-based research proving that benefits of safe patient limits have appeared in the journal the American Medical Association, the New England Journal of Medicine, the Journal of Medical Care, the Institute of Medicine, Health Affairs, the Lancet, and the American Journal of Nursing. At least two reports summarizing all this research on the issue is in the federal government's Agency for Healthcare Quality Research. And we also have provided a list of these studies to you today as well in written testimony. Now, you're going to hear a lot of rhetoric again today about the opposition of this legislation. And please, I would like you to appreciate that this bill is very straightforward, it is very simple. It just minimizes, it maximizes you know, how many patients a nurse will take care of, that will qual give them quality, safe patient care. Um, but at the same time, I need you to know the people that are opposed this legislation that are before you today, they're the ones that came before us before and told us that there wasn't a problem, but there has been. The other ones that told us that we needed, there wasn't any research, there is research. The other ones that told us there wasn't enough nurses, there are plenty of nurses. And the other ones that continue to say that they would fix it and they have not. So I'm just asking, I know thank I went over, so to thank you so much and ask you to please help us get this passed.